What are the human-alien hybrids in the movie Species? Now the first subject was named Sill, who was created through the fertilization of a human ovum and mixing it with alien DNA. She was shown to grow and mature at an increased speed. This species is known to walk on two legs, which makes them a bipedal being, but Patrick in the second movie was shown to have a second form during combat. He morphed into a quadrupedal creature that walked on four limbs. He was also able to separate his head, which revealed a tentacle that can be used for impregnating females or to attack. The females, however, are shown to use their tongue within their mouths as a weapon. They also have brass tentacles, and some horns were seen to protrude on the side of their head. These aliens have a skeletal and transparent body, while their hair look like tentacles. They are known to be physically stronger than humans, and also have the urge to mate and reproduce quickly. Their hostile behavior was shown to be very extreme, mostly leading to the death of the victim. Not only can they morph between their human and alien form, they also possess incredible regeneration abilities, which means they would need to suffer severe damage to their bodies in order for them to be killed. Now their backs were seen to have spines that can extend outward as a weapon. Their appearance can closely resemble a reptile, and they are able to remain underwater for a lot longer than humans. As the female gives birth, their chest cavity will open up as the newborn is released. Now their cocoon stage was shown to take place between the stage of a child morphing into an adult. This growth happens very quickly, so it is believed this cocoon is required during this phase. Now during this phase, it does become a stationary target. It cannot move. However, the cocoon can still defend itself with some tentacles if it feels threatened. Now a professor named Herman Cromwell claimed that this species was from another galaxy that could sustain other carbon-based life forms. He also believed that this race was on Mars millions of years ago until they wiped out all the other life forms. Then the remains were left in the soil which ended up being frozen. This information was later linked to the events in the second movie. There have been four movies around this franchise. The first one is around the SETI project receiving two messages from outer space. The first message was a formula to create an unlimited source of energy by the use of methane while the second message contained the DNA code of an alien and instructions on how to merge it with human DNA. Sill did give birth to one alien offspring, but they were both killed by the end of the film. The second movie takes place when a team of astronauts visit Mars. Upon collecting soil samples from this planet, this material then thaws out on the ship and attaches itself to the crew, but only two out of the three are infected. Also, a clone of Sill was created to be more controllable, and her name was Eve. She was created as a way to combat the alien species if they ever returned. One astronaut named Patrick goes on to spawn half-breeds through various women, and hides them at his father's ranch, with most of them getting killed off. The other astronaut named Anna, who was infected, died giving birth to a half-breed which was also killed. Eve used her telepathic powers to track Patrick down, but by near the end of the film, they both mate in their alien forms. Eve is killed by Patrick, and then a man named Press uses a pitchfork coated with the blood from Dennis, who was a third astronaut. The illness in Dennis's blood is what ends up killing Patrick in his alien form. Now the third film continues the story after the second movie. Even though Eve died, her body gave birth to an alien that is more pure. Its name is Sarah. The story has some half-breed aliens who are dying because of their faulty DNA of hybridization. Then two men named Dean and Abbott harvest Sarah's eggs and try to find a cure for the dying half-breeds. In the end, one half-breed battles against Sarah and it's killed, but Sarah survives the battle, and a mate is created for her so she's not alone. However, this alien is sterile, so it will not be able to reproduce. The fourth film is about Miranda, who is a dying hybrid that was under the care of Tom Hollander since she was a child. He injects her with hormones to extend her life, but this causes an imbalance in her sexual nature, and her alien side starts to take over. Tom seeks the help of an old friend named Forbes, who helped them create Miranda back in their college years. They also meet Azura, who was also created by Forbes. At some point in the story, Forbes has sex with Miranda and a creature starts to grow inside her womb. Near the end of the film, Azura is killed off, but Miranda suffers a fatal blow. At this point, Tom lights the place on fire and destroys all the evidence. Now the one thing that all these aliens seem to share is the requirement of a perfect host that is not sick. They tend to reject a mate if they carry a virus or disease. They have a special sense that tells them who is the perfect host or perfect mate. 
Now this requirement is also displayed by the chemical that is thawed out on the astronaut's ship in the second movie. Since Dennis was sick, he did not become infected. Now the original story about this creature was brought up in 1987, and it was then going under the name of The Message. But this name alone was not enough to attract the attention of the studios, so it was rewritten, and this led to the film in 1995. There are also a few comic books and novels about this. Now the novel of the first movie explained how the signal received by humans was sent through black holes as a way of hiding its source of origin. This could mean that this alien species might control advanced technology. The second novel also mentions that this species was on Mars billions of years ago until they used up all of its natural resources and moved on. This alien was designed by H.R. Giger who also designed the xenomorph for the alien movies. So what do you think of this alien species? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.